Good morning, YouTubers and anyone else. Welcome to the third week of my three month, 90 day two stone challenge. This week is rest week, or as those of you who've done bodybuilding before will know, the week of lies. Mm. week is when you train an exercise until you're in tears and you can't do any more reps then you take a little rest about five maybe ten seconds and then you do some more isn't that fun and then you do some more until you're ready to marry Satan and sell your soul to not do any more exercise and then you have a little rest and you do some more because you know it's that fucked up. Rest week. No resting. No, it's just pain and lies. So that's what's coming today. The whole week. Ah. Stray Red Bull. Making noises. Ah, next. Um, yes, we have... Um, yeah, so you do like squats. And then have a little rest. And then more squats. And a little rest. And then more squats. Ah. Ah, it's horrible. But you know what? You have an arse like a peach if you keep doing that. So, um, and I'd quite like an arse like a peach, if that's okay. Weird thing, my arse has gone up by a few inches, which um, I'm not putting on camera anytime soon. But um, yes, my, my arse has become elevated as a result of this uh, bodybuilding plan. Have you noticed that my hair is down this morning? Down and bouncy and free-flowing uh, that's because I had my hair done yesterday I I went to a hen night for the first time well technically a hen afternoon I was a hen for the first time in my life I went to my friend Sammy's hen party it was amazing and um, so that was really nice and it was going really well until um, Helen Derbyshire whose course I'm on and another competitor Leanne Started having photographs taken, at which point I made a retreat, because there's no way I'm standing around having my photo taken next to bikini models. I'm, I'm, no. I'm not doing that. No. So I ran. I ran. Well, I say ran. It sort of slowly shuffled away. So yeah, so that video was lovely. It was really nice. We went to a restaurant in Swansea, which is, you know, as far as Swansea goes, all right. And, uh, yeah, good times we had. There's a, a man, proud to be Welsh there, with a big Welsh dragon. You see the weirdest things when you're driving around early on the weekend. Weirdest, weirdest things. Right, now here's the thing. Um, I don't know how, I'm using a new extension arm today. <laughs> I know, I'm all, I always seem to be using new extension arms. Um, but this one is an even longer extension arm because of the, the rake of my windscreen. It's a little bit near rake. And um, I like rake. I like words begin with rake and rhinoceros and romero. I'm talking shit. Um, so I've got a new arm, but it is quite far from the mount. Which means that not only is there a fair bit of leverage there, the camera is a little bit bouncy bouncy. So I don't know how well the stabiliser is going to work, even though we're driving in an Lexus, which is nice, and um, has a, like a really fancy suspension system. It's not magic. So we shall see how that goes. Hoping it comes out well. The, um, I've got all kinds of like, an optical and digital image stabilisation at work, so... Hey, hey. That's really boring. We're going to cut that. Or something. Um, yes, as I was saying. So my hair is down. And it was quite nice. But here's the thing, okay? All my life, people have said the strangest things to me. Like, hey you, get out of my garden. And, are you from France? So, um, so the other day, um, Sammy said, Why do you wear your ponytail so low? You should wear your ponytail higher. 
And this is not, and Sammy is not alone in saying this. Several people have said to me I should wear my ponytail higher. Um, Jess, a, a PT off of, off of before, said the same thing. And my friend Claire says I should wear my ponytail up higher. Um, which is fine, except I don't know how. I'm, I don't, I'm not good at hair things at all. Apparently I need a thing called bangs. No, not bangs, although that's a hair thing too. Layers. And I keep going to the hairdresser and saying, have you got any layers? Can I have some layers, please? And they're like, yeah, yeah, you can have some layers. And then they, they do layers, apparently. And then my friends say, you should have had layers. I'm like, well, I asked for layers and apparently I've got layers. But I, I, so I don't know, I don't do hair. Back to the point. So I don't know how to do a high ponytail. I try and all I have is just hair. So I'm going to try that when we stop. Well, when, again, when I stop, you're, you're sitting on the settee with some biscuits, probably, or maybe on, on your phone or something, I, I don't know. When I stop outside the gym, which will be soon, I will attempt a high ponytail without the aid of mirrors or a safety net. So we shall see how that goes. I don't know. We may have to get the emergency services on standby, and there may be tears. Just saying. I need Red Bull. So I was um, I was a, a rapid stop um, as a elderly gent ventured forth into the road with his dog, and the dog was very enthusiastic about crossing the road, and apparently oblivious to several tons of Japanese tank bearing down upon him. Luckily, my Japanese tank has really good brakes, and I nearly lost my spleen. And I nearly lost my Red Bull. Wouldn't that be fun? People are already leaving the gym. It's only been open 10 minutes. They have no commitment. You know what, though? I've done that before. I've come to the gym ready to get my sweat on and then I thought ah bollocks to this I think gone home I think perhaps we've all done that on occasion you know you just lose that thing sometimes you come to the gym on autopilot and you don't really you know you just don't think about it and then when you get here you realize that oh I don't want to do that because the gym you know it's always a nice thing okay so high ponytail so I put some no I, you know I said earlier I'm going to do this without the aid of mirrors yeah fuck that I need a mirror so here is a mirror and here is my hair and now I haven't got a hairbrush so this is going to be a really poor attempt or maybe it'll be a good attempt but a poor outcome I don't know what to expect yet I do not know so I'm going to pull my hair back as one does. Now is that, is that high? Is that high there? Where? Because if it doesn't... I really need a brush to do this, to be honest with you. Because now I've just got thin bits of hair pulling tight on thicker bits of hair. This is a disaster. Seriously, people, leave my leave my my pony <laughs> my ponytail alone. I can't do this. I know I'm stuck on the seat. Ah, God, what's going on? Let me try this again. I can't do this. Really. I look like an alien. I look like I've got a lumpy alien head now. Because I haven't got a brush. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just doing it here. I don't know if that's high or not. I can't see the back of my head, guys. Really? Fuck. I don't know where to start with that. That was... 
he will. It's called rest week, right? And yeah, there's no no resting at all. <sighs> well, there is for like for like ten seconds. Honestly, I started to. I don't know. I had my headphones on, but whatever noise I was making was apparently distracting the guy next to me on the pack deck. I don't care. I don't know whether it was whimpering or howling or. Oh, I'm in a dark place. Good then. I want a motorbike. Just saying. Because they're cool. I'm well on track for hitting my weight target and getting the. Uh, well, I think I'm going to get at least two stone off. I think I may get more. I may even go for three, a cheeky three. If I can get the first stone off and like have you know time in the bank, it's gonna make me want to push even harder. I don't know, I don't know if and here's the thing, you know, this is, it comes down to physics at this point. There's a limit to how rapidly your body can metabolize fuel and energy that you take on. So I don't I don't quite know what that is. So whether I can do that through training so I don't want to do a crash dieting and training it you just you can't you can't really train properly and you get you don't feel very well the weight comes off but it's not it's not good weight loss really um and there's an, there's an argument for it you know um you're arguably healthier with rapid weight loss plus the risks than the risks of being obese so there is there is a you know an argument for VLCD dieting. And I am in a rush, <laughs> I really am. But I've got to think about the bigger picture. And, you know, if you're the sort of person that is can do save for the future, you know, with a pension, if you can do that, think ahead, then a healthier diet and exercise is a better way to lose weight if you can plan ahead, if you can think of the bigger picture. And that's what I'm trying to do as much as it's so I'm desperate. I just want to eat cabbage and mints. I don't know if polar mints are diet food. I made that up. But, um, you know, so to just get all the weight off now. Uh, but I don't, you know, I need to do it the right way, the best way, the way that'll help my future goals as well. Even though I really want to write Harry Potter. That is very bouncy. If that stabiliser could cope with that, I'm going to be so impressed. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, and I, I don't... I do, there was a guy in the gym today. And I don't like to do this, because I've got nothing to write home about when it comes to my appearance and my body. But he was, I was doing squats, okay? And I was doing those sort of, um, uh, I was doing um, squats with, with glutes in mind. So I was, you know, cleansing my ass at the top of the squat and I was doing quite a wide leg sumo. So doing some glute work, trying to stop my quads taking over. And um, I had this guy next to me. You know, like I appreciate people trying to be nice and you know, be helpful. But for, first of all, this guy wasn't actually squatting, it was more like a curtsy. And he had legs like Raymond noodles, soggy ones. Seriously, this is a guy that skips leg week. He was he was one rep maxing like 50k or something on his back squat. Bless. And if there's one exercise I can do quite well. It's a squat. I can do a good back squat. I've got a strong back. I've got, I've got strong quads. I can lift quite a lot. But I wasn't doing a back squat today. I was doing sumo clenches. Sumo squats and you squeeze your ass together and you know you don't come all the way up. It's a good exercise. It makes your ass hurt. It's good. So I kind of I kind of wanted to you know do that thing where you say, oh excuse me mate, can I borrow your bar for warming up? You know, because but there you go. The thing is, you know, people 
they don't know what exercise, they don't know what plan we're on, they don't know what we're doing. So unless somebody looks like they're going to injure themselves, kind of advice often isn't really wanted. <laughs> that being said, there was a guy on the um, uh, the upright rowing machine. Uh, it's a machine where you like, give it, you're, you're braced here and you, you, you give it all that. But instead of you know locking his, up, his core and his upper body and pulling back with his shoulders, he was doing this weird waist floppy flappy thing. And I was like, yeah, dude, don't, don't do that. I don't think you're meant to do that. Shoulders. <laughs> so, um, so I've done it before. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna have a shower, then I'm gonna play No Man's Sky. Because apparently it gets very boring after, I don't know, a while. But I'm only just starting, so I'm still in that time when I'm still enjoying it. And I am, actually, it's quite good. Then what I'd like to do, actually, is get a really wide angle lens, or maybe a GoPro or something, and um, record my friends in the car as well. Like, like I'm seeing Jim, James Corbin does a thing and just does car conversations. That's quite good. Maybe that would work. You like my friends? Well, you might. I don't like most of them. They're my friends. Oh, you I love them. If they're watching. Not really. Okay, so, well, thank you for watching. This is the start of the third week of my three-month challenge. So, if you're watching, thank you very much. If you're not watching, you're not going to have seen that anyways. Please, um, hit the subscribe button. It's going to be somewhere. Um, there. I'm going to put it there. I think. Uh, please, please subscribe if you enjoy this and tell all your friends, um, whoever, that, will there be cookies, probably, or um, I, I, I tend to lie a lot, so there probably won't be cookies, to be, to be honest with you, but if you please give feedback, follow, or whatever, and, uh, and hopefully you can watch my, my journey, there's a long way to go, there's another 10 stone or something I've got to lose yet, 8 stone down is coming, long way to go, but, um, Yes, please, uh, please join me on this uh, <laughs> agonising and uh, mostly cake-free journey. Thank you all. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.